I'm Rivas, and today I am sharing with you all uh, this Infinity Conquest that I did uh, on the first day of the season, um, utilizing the new card Hulkling uh, within the Arsham Shell, which is one of the still one of the more powerful decks in my opinion, uh, even with the rise of Cassandra being the most played and highest win rate card I think currently in the game. Um, this is actually uh, the first conquest I did, so so far I'm one for one. Uh, the 49th border I got, so we're all closing on 50. That's hopefully I will get later this week. Um, I'm gonna quickly talk about uh, Hulkling, and then I'll talk a little bit about the deck um, and the games that you'll see coming up. But uh, overall, I was playing Hulkling for around four hours in a variety of decks. Uh, this was just the one I decided to take into Infinity Conquest because I think it slots in the best. The card's a lot better when you play it on turn five. Um, is something I uh, quickly realized. So uh, I played it in this, I played it in a Wiccan uh, tempo list, so uh, without Loki actually, and then I played it in the Hope Summers, like Kitty Pride, then uh, Angelo stuff. Um, and when he hits good stuff, he feel he does feel uh, like very strong, maybe almost too strong. Uh, but obviously you do have a lot of bad hits as well, like uh, Destroyer and Infinite. Uh, one thing that changed from my initial knowledge of him uh, when I th first uh, read the card initially is that they actually don't include Agatha or Thanos in the pools of random six drops. Uh, they also include himself right now, which I also didn't realize, but uh, they said they're going to change that soon, which does make him uh, significantly better because these are all like 3%, 4% uh, odds, which do add up, right? I was thinking originally that like, oh, sometimes you would lose the game if you hit Agatha and you draw it, or if you have it hit Thanos and it just starts in your opening hand. Um, but now like the worst hits are just stuff that you just don't play. So you need to have it in a deck where uh, sometimes you're not gonna play it, which are those like uh, energy cheating decks, uh, in my opinion, are probably the best place. Um, he treads a very fine line of where he's like he can be really scammy. So there's a there's a few times where I hit like what I thought would be bad hits like Destroyer uh, and Tribunal, where it just wins me the game where no other card would have. Right, Destroyer, I hit it into a clog deck that played like uh, Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, locked me out of my lanes, uh, and then I just destroyed the board and I could play and I was able to win with that. Um, I think uh, actually in this first game you'll see it hit Tribunal and it wins me the game because of the location. Um, but that being said, sometimes it's also a dead draw, so I don't think it's going to be a very good card just because it's a huge commitment to play a 6-11, and when you do whiff, it's just a 6-11, so unless you're playing a deck that can afford to just randomly play 6-11, like Arshan, like the Wiccan Loki stuff, uh, I don't think it's, you're, it's, you're never going to be upset if you have to replace it with, like, a card like Magneto, or, um, or Blob, in the case of Arshan, like, these are perfectly viable replacements. Uh, I was running Magneto in this deck before. Um, that being said, I do think it's something similar to the copycat where you are going to be able to just scam random games. Um, that being said, copycat's less of a um, commitment because it is a 3-5, which means like there's a lot more room in the game to play a 3-5. Um, I will be curious to see if ramp style decks become more popular if he becomes better because I do think that would be an interesting spot to put him in uh, is the decks where you're running lots of six drops, right? Because where you're in a limited space of six drops, I think he's super replaceable. In the place where you're going through like almost every six drop already, you're running Doom, Odin, and all this stuff, he probably has a uh, much better uh, position. So yeah, that being said, I don't think he's, he's an awesome pickup unless uh, you don't have like the Spotlight Cache, you don't have Nimrod, you don't have Cannonball. Uh, but if you do open him, try slotting him in some decks. He's not going to lose you uh, many games. Uh, he actually won me more games, and I felt like uh, I lost because I couldn't play him uh, over the course of all the decks I played over the three hours, and even when watching other people play it. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so then, uh, talking about Arsham. So Arsham is actually in a weird place where it is a very powerful deck. It feels really good into most decks. Um, but... Of course, most decks are now teching in Cassandra because it's good into Arsham, it's good into Loki. Those are the two most popular decks on Untap. Uh, obviously, Arsham also runs Loki, but when I refer to Loki, I mean the more uh, the non-Arsham Lokis. Uh, so actually, over the course of this conquest, I think I played three different decks that were running Cassandra Nova uh, and one Arsham Mirror, and then one deck that wasn't running uh, anything, like it was a discard deck. 
Um, and it's important to still be able to be able to beat that card, right? You don't want to just lose to one card. Uh, so I think this is a really good conquest to seeing how I do beat that. Uh, the last game is actually against Cassandra Nova, Dark Hawk deck, which is even worse. Uh, so you can kind of see like how I try and play around that. Um, a lot of it comes through scamming a lot of cubes of Shadow King, Shang-Chi. So that's one reason that those are two cards I think are required in Arsham. Uh, otherwise, I think the deck's pretty standard. Coulson and Loki are very strong, give you extra resources to spend your energy on. Uh, I have Mockingbird, which is oftentimes just a really cheap uh, 10 power unit, it synergizes with directly with Arsham. Uh, Eliath and Vision are both very powerful cards um, for stopping your opponent's game plan and getting into uh, hard to reach locations. And then I would say the three like tech card kind of uh, stuff is Dr. Doom, Legion, and Manthing. Um, Legion and Manthing especially are more newer to the list. I used to run Claw at one point over Legion uh, and Copycat over Manthing. Just kind of a tech decision. I like Manthing into like Zeus kind of style of decks and I think Legion's really helpful when you see Magic, uh, which is I've been seeing a lot more of all the Clog decks. Uh, Doom as well, I think it's like if you see a lot of Clog, he's not great, but he is really nice with Mockingbird and really nice into other decks, so I, that's, that's why I included it here. Uh, but those are definitely where it's like, oh, if you want to try running claw, claw instead to help you in the Clog matchup, maybe that's something you run over Doom, etc. Something to think about when you're building this list is like, you do need each individual card to have impact because you're not going to be drawing the majority of your deck, so you can't really ignore uh, most of it. You do need stuff that gives you stats, stuff that gives you tech um, in like every matchup, right? So Shadow King Shang, pretty much every time you face Cassandra. <laughs> or any kind of deck that goes tall, you're going to be using those cards. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, let me know in the, uh, below what you've been thinking about Hulkling. I do think it's a fun card to watch people play, and it's interesting. It's probably fun to play as well. So I'll be curious to see where it lands uh, in the coming week um, as people experiment with it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you you're think of Infinity Conquest yourself. Check out uh, our games here. I think there there's some really tense moments. There's some fun fun plays uh, with the random stuff, which is always good. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Is this Cassandra that I'm trying to dodge? And I put it mid. I just played Doom rules all. Hmm, I lose to Cassandra plus Loki. I think I get it with a Shang. I think how do I, how do I win another lane? This would be fun. Ah, uh, they have a life. They don't alive. Wow, that's such a weak play. I could have actually just beat that with my initial play, which was Red Hulk plus Grapple Arrow, right? They just didn't have the Cassandra as the last card in their deck. That's frustrating. Domino, you can't have it. Oh, I don't know what happens, actually. Assume you get one on two and you don't get the other one. It's just randomly shuffled in your deck. Oh, that's frustrating, man. This hand is also just dog water. I know they don't have Shang though, which is good. Yeah, and that's also really good. It's a little bit better now. Did I 
like refuse to snap is something I've noticed. I need to Shadow King or Shang next turn. Something to not. Otherwise, um, what do you call it? I can get a life. Oh, that is funny. We're doing that because it's funny. Power must be oh, controlled. Impress. Priority. Doesn't matter if they ally in the middle, then they just lose, right? Fun play. How big was the Hulk? 16. 13, so they go to 19. Actually, this is gonna lose here and here, right? I think 30, 49, 20 every lane. So this is just a Red Hulk, right? Surely they do him though, right? Wait, okay, it wins because they moved the drop. Nice. So now they don't win mid. I don't know, chat. This card's winning me games. <laughs> Yeah, with Irish and Mr. D, you can have the card that you put in the deck, and then, um... You can generate randomly, right? The game audio is bugged? Why? Is it static? If it's static, it's Spotify, and I can restart it in a second. Playing this is pretty nice, but I can also leash in the Collapse Mind. So that's fine. Wow, they really want this Wigan. Now I storm mid and I win mid, right? So greedy. for my deck. Sure, just flooding everywhere. Because it's funny. It's kind of bad if they Wiccan. So now they're going to go Doom. Oh, the flooding trigger is this turn. I'll be honest, I haven't seen that interaction in a long time. Yeah, I can restart Spotify real quick. It used to be that it gave you an extra turn. Everywhere except the middle. Alright, let me know if you still hear the static. It's fine, we're likely losing that anyways. Okay, I don't want to play out the brood, it seems bad. This is 
pretty good. Audio's back to normal. Awesome. Okay. So. Just into Enchantress, I guess. I was normal. Okay, cool. They stole my doom. They could win every lane, but can you do it? Do anything if it's from a low key, that's funny. Turn five. Discard the Irishman, I guess. Makes you three cost. So I can go Wicked Mockingbird. Up the Loki discounts. All right, like, am I playing around Doom here? I think I am. It's not Doom, and they got me, I guess. If they have their own bird, I, I just can't beat everything, right? Yeah, I mean, they have two birds and a vision. There's no set of cards I could have played to win here. Good. Stop their Wakuna from going off until the final turn. Could do it again, too. Deny them all the extra energy. Still lose to like Cassandra Nova plus stuff, but can't play around everything. Mm, they just didn't play anything there. Do rules 
we beat this. Just barely. Victory. Close game. <laughs> Just crazy considering they're a Quicksilver deck. We were a Quicksilver deck last game though, to be fair. Look at this Punisher man, so inspirational. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that was easy. And which was not great. <laughs> not my greatest play. The Legion on the Storm when I have no power in any of the other lanes. Alright, surely we can be this low, low collection level player, right? I feel like they're running Uatu if they just emoted an un unreal location, which would be kind of funny. A fun thing here is Jessica will trigger her star the buff that she got from Wakanda. Not that I'm gonna get to see it, but snipe the the guy. Is it? I hope so. Okay. Stay to some more videos. Something to rock slide, but I'll play this because if I get another big card, it's a lot better to play the vision now. I'll just never play the rock slide, right? It's a pretty good hit for them, but it's whatever. Hopefully, they have two discards this turn so I can shine that. Otherwise, I'll be a little bit sad. to 7 here, I go up to 13. Oh, a little bit sketchy into Modoc, but... It's fine. Surely... Surely it's just like Infinite, right? Victory. Okay. Probably just shouldn't be taking those types of risks, but we're early in the conquest. They did have multiple ways to win there. Holy chat, look at that hit. So good. They're snapping me. Imagine they have two apocalypses. Uh, I'll hold Shadow King, it's good versus Collector. This is even mine. I don't even know if this is mine or not. And after trying this awesome first, by the way. Oh, life is sadness.
This is only seven power mid. I guess that's okay. Kinda wanna hold this issue, but I also need prio. do this into Hulkling into Lyoth is probably the best play and then hope it hits like a Tuma or Red Skull. I mean now if they play this turn they're fully clogged. Which means I get 50-50 for priority here. Right? Not get. I just play the ten power card. It's right? the best I can do. Okay. Proper side. Yeah, we can check it out. Victory. For a lot of. Is that where I'm targeting cards? Yep. Yes, sir. This is a Arshim Mirror. Opponent snapped. They're snapping turn one because they have Loki. Hmm. I like my hand. I'll stay. I like my hand a lot less now. Wow, that's painful. to leave for two, unfortunately. So you get Legion for Sandbar, maybe? That whole coin doesn't do anything. My mighty hand. But that doesn't really matter. I have Shadow King Shang, so I'm just gonna have to leave, I think. They did this. This is like the one way they could lose if it was with bad pulls. It's very strange. Uh, Loki's more Loki's pretty much. Let's make sure 
Green Bird Trooper. Nice Mine Trooper. Wow, they hit the best card in my hand. Hey, X Men. Stole my Mockingbird of Cable, that's crazy. I don't know how they didn't snap this. Colossus, probably. Opponent snapped. Yep, Loki on two again. I can't just leave every time they snap turn one. Like, it's just the way the matchup goes. It's stupid to do so. annoying. So I need to maintain priority. Okay, they didn't even have it. Oh, it's literally, can I maintain priority game? I'm out of space. I should have played the leech on the side. Right, 
me to leave. Okay, I don't know what the what they're doing. Why it's not going to turn one that game? It's like a bluff. Trigger the weekend. Not the best feeling here. Trigger hurts. Greg up to pull their stuff, man. <sighs> man, I just need something playable. I feel so bad retreating with a Mockingbird that costs zero in my hand. Mockingbird here actually won. Drew the hammer in a 15 card deck. Classic, classic. Had Loki every time. Um... I'm playing with Destroyer. Go 
cryo, you know. I don't know if it even matters, uh. Fifty for it. Hmm. No reason to snap. It's gonna be five to four anyways, versus four to three. If I snap, they're probably gonna run. Cube. Not worth letting them run. Maybe they stayed. I mean, their hand was pretty good. Let's be honest here. Yeah, try and tree plus a way to win middle. They only lose to Mockingbird there, I think. Time. I have a massive nebula mid, I'll snap this. Coulson too. They have Loki, they have Loki. Black Cat's definitely a lower roll there. Finally got our Loki, but we don't get to trigger it this turn, which is a big L. We did get, at least we got to draw Mockingbird. Maybe we're fine. Any dominoes? We got Domino a lot, right? Kind of absurd. I like doing this this turn. Try to wait to kill middle. The shoes. I mean, this can't be Shang, but they could Shang. This is only like 13, it's better just to do these two, right? Awesome, my favorite location. It's a zoo. They have the Gilgamesh avatar, so probably. Man, things good here.
is certainly an interesting legion board. A little bit late, but I think it's still the play. Oh, snap. I can do this until Legion mid. Yeah, prior. To guess where they're putting the Gilgamesh is the issue. I'm guessing it's going mid. Maybe it goes here though. Maybe it's just this. Max power. Power must be controlled. to a breaker or not because they don't get the hit Whew, tough play man Victory. it's a hard play to make <laughs> they're playing something big there Control their power. I mean, I thought I could go anyway. Honestly, could have gone either way. They actually give me something to the coal. I mean, obviously, I don't want to give them the coal. At some point, maybe I'll be able to play it. Alright, this is definitely not the ideal board for me, I will say. <laughs> I do have Shine and Shadow King. Uh, I was gonna say, and we never draw the rock, but take that back. So I can take this. I thought they would play a one drop. Selected to play Mockingbird. Bro, how did I? I have three rocks and a 24 card deck, and I drew two of them so far? What the hell? Andrew. That makes this matchup a lot harder. 
Doom rules all. Try Boomer, snap him. Because this is kind of nutty. And they never expect it. Power must be controlled. Hey man, I'm cool. Dude, getting cubes versus a Cassandra deck like this is very good. Victory. Okay, before Mockingbird intentional? No, that was a misplay. Because I can't try and big house, right? Yeah, I should have played this in the other order. I don't think it ever matters, but. I guess if they have their own. Is this Sandman? I don't usually indicate Sandman. Oh, it's a stack. Okay. Well, this is definitely not the ideal matchup, but... Can you do? I didn't have a turn three. It's like Moon Knight Cassandra. In range. I'm gonna speed set, no? Alright, I mean, I'll take the AQs versus the Dark Hog deck early because this is a tough fucking matchup. I do not know why they snapped that. They could have got me. No, actually they can never get me. They boomer snap that? Yeah. Or snap? Yeah. I thought it was like they had like the Proxima, Moon Knight, and then Cassandra, and I'm pretty sure I was beating that, so that's why I stayed. So I don't know if his hand is not ideal. I have Shadow King Shang, so I'm definitely gonna stay always. I'm surprised they're stacking those two. Yo. Alright, Tillin kinda sucks. Big butt for me. Viper feels bad. 
should have played Mantang instead then. I mean, I can. Well, I'm losing my cards as issue. I can SK there, I guess. So now I win another lane. This might be a one cube retreat. Stature up? They didn't have stature because we, uh, the Lyoth, their Black Bolt. Deal. Try and move this on turn three if I have Prya, which means I need to play something, I think. Might look a little bit weird, but I think I pass here. Pull it to try and dodge. The Viper. Oh, they just didn't Viper. That's fine. For Rock Slide instead. Man, I can't believe we drew the Rock. That's actually insane. everything to be shadow kingable or do I want a couple more procs? I think I want a couple more procs of this. I'll stay here with Shadow King, uh, with Shang in hand. Let's see if we can steal again. Doom rules all. Now I need the 50-50 for this to go over here. The issue is they probably just play the thing over here. But maybe they stack them both mid, I don't know. Got him, got him. Shoop! Power and the guaranteed move. Yo, thank you for 17 months, Kazel. 49, chat. 49. Easy 49, bro. The fact that we went against two Cassandra Nova decks in the past two games, and this was Darkhawk Cassandra, and we still beat them fairly straightforward, is nuts. Also, Hulkling OP carried me the entire way, totally, totally, totally. Look at it. It's in the list. Is this the first Hulkling Infinity Conquest you guys have seen? I, I, I bet you it, it might be. It might be. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. I don't even know if he did anything this conquest. He, he was doing stuff in the gold conquest we were doing. <laughs> I haven't played yet today. 
Alright, that's a relief, because... I was worried it might take a while for me to get my first one. And now that we get the first one, we have a whole week to get one more. Which is pretty nice. So maybe we'll play some bad Hulkling decks in gold to finish out those tickets. I just want to try and get one on the first day. First try. He can caught himself, yes, but it's a bug. They're supposedly going to fix it in low tier. Look at that. 